So if you haven't seen it, Veritasium put out this great video with some very confusing physics that you can see in the description below. Uh, Sai behind me is going to try and recreate what he did, and I think I'm going to try and explain the science. So Derek showed in his video that a block shot upwards in the centre or the side will reach the same height, but why? So first things first, I reckon the reason those blocks reach the same height is due to the conservation of linear momentum. The projectiles we're firing are roughly the same size and they're going at the same speed and same direction. So they've got the same momentum, that is mass times velocity. And when they hit that block, they've got the same upwards momentum. So regardless of where they hit it, they're going to travel to the same height. However, the block that's hit on the side spins, and this is due to the centre of gravity being over where the nails kind of form an axis. And so as this side goes up, where the bullet hits it, the other side goes down. And this is known as the conservation of angular momentum. But therein lies the conundrum. As the blocks reach the same height, they've got the same gravitational potential energy, but the spinning block's got all this added bonus of kinetic energy. So how has one block got more energy from the bullet? As we all know, energy can't be created or destroyed, merely changed from one form to another, and there's quite a few different forms. So the spinning block's taken that kinetic energy from the bullet and transformed it into rotational kinetic energy. So what's the other block done with it? So my theory is that the bullets that are hitting the middle there are travelling deeper into the wood, and therefore they're giving out more thermal energy as they move further in, and giving out maybe more sound, and perhaps even more kinetic energy as they're moving more fibres within the wood, maybe even elastic energy as well. And you can actually see here, the ones on the outside, that one's barely penetrated, and the one even bounced off completely. So that all kind of ties up rather nicely. So there you have it, looks can be deceiving. There's the same amount of energy in both of those flying block systems. But if you like what you've seen in this video, please head on over to our channel Earth Unplugged for more videos like this every week.